Yo, what's up, guys? We back, bro. And we back. We back. We back. And this is the last game of the season. We talking about the real life matchup between the Falcons and the Buccaneers, man. This is no game play. This is strictly talking about the real NFL. Week 17 of the Atlanta Falcons, bro. The Falcons, we pull it off, bro. 28-22. And as y'all seen from the last play of the game, right when we went to overtime and they got the ball first, Everybody in their mama said the same. I told my girlfriend, I was like, oh, look, Jameis, Jameis is about to throw a pick. And I didn't think about a pick six. But when he threw it, I just felt it. Like, I already I already knew it was going to be a pick. But right when he threw it, it just reminded me of that pick six Josh Norman do it. It seemed like he always throws most of his picks throwing to the right. And I already knew what it was. And the fact that it was Deion Jones just makes it that much sweeter. So I guess I don't know what – I don't know. It just seemed kind of weird, like – the whole storyline was, you know, 30 touchdowns, 30 interceptions. It just felt weird, like, how it happened. And when it happened, everybody knew it was going to happen. Like, everybody and their mama knew he was going to throw a pick. That's why when they got the ball first, that kind of felt good. So we won't do nothing stupid and leave a chance for Jameis to do something stupid. But anyway, man, it was a sloppy game uh, for the Falcons. And like I said, even though I say Jameis Winston the clown, is a clown, and I hated losing to that man, uh... The first game we played this season, Jameis Winston, this game is probably the most I'll ever get this man credit. Jameis Winston played his butt off. The, 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 despite the whole, you know, bull crap with the interception and all that other stuff, Jameis Winston balled out this game. Um, and I know he's balled out. Like, before, I think when he first came in the league, you know, he was doing good. We couldn't beat that man for, like, two and a half years. And but over the years, this man James has been trash. I always tell y'all, we lose against that man, bro. Season over with. When we lost against the Bucks earlier on, we should have we should have beat them the other time. We probably could have had a better chance of making the playoffs and all the other stuff, man. But man, um, so yeah, this is the only time you see me give James Winston credit. This dude tried his hardest to win that game. Uh, his offensive line was making some some stupid stuff. The defense is really carrying that team. Bruce Arians and Todd Bowles. They got that defense so good. They, the defense for the Buccaneers is so underrated. They sacked the heck out of Matt just like they did last game. And I promise y'all, if we would have lost this game, they would have talked. They would have blamed it on Matt like they always do. So let's see. Shaquille Barrett, which is awesome because he's right there. We got a superstar ability. Chris Godwin. The dude bought out last time we played. You see Mike Evans. Uh, that man, Jason Pierre, or Paul, man. I know you ain't heard that name in so long ever since the dude – Blew his hand off, bro. I think that I think yeah, that was in Jason Pierre Paul. I think about Jason Tuck, but yeah, Jason Pierre Paul blew his hand off, and the dude came out like he he was <laughs> like he was ready, bro. So they sacked Matt Ryan was it five times this game. They sacked Matt five times, and my boy Matt, what did he do? He still came up in the clutch, bro. How many fourth quarter comebacks has Matt Ryan had? I don't even know if they count this as a fourth quarter comeback. I don't know how that I don't even know they're gonna count it as this. But for all y'all talking about my boy Matt and Clutch, I made a whole video talking about how he's the most underappreciated quarterback in the league. Uh y'all can say, oh, overrated, underrated. He's underappreciated because the dude is a baller, man. And despite him getting sacked, despite, you know, Julio going down and then coming back and Calvin really already being out. You know what I'm saying? Matt Ryan still delivered. Matt Ryan still on fourth down. That was a great freaking play by Russell Gage. Shout out to Russell Gage, man. That little whole little diving for extra yards reminded me of Brandon Marshall, uh, how he used to play. Russell Gage, seven receptions, 68 yards. Hooper, seven receptions, 45 yards. Julio, seven receptions, 78 yards. Uh, the freaking, I think he was left tackle, left guard. That sombrero dude. That's sombrero. I don't want to say the name like that, but that's what it sounds like. Well, reception for 35 yards. Yeah, that man sombrero looked like he faster than Austin Hooper. But I know Hooper can get up speed. He just seemed like he, you know, I think he still hurt a little bit. But um, it was a great game, man. It was actually wasn't a great one, but I liked the ending, bro, because I told y'all uh, with that 49ers game, it was good to, you know, get him back for the whole 2012 stuff and for the whole Super Bowl. That moment, even though – we wouldn't get in the playoffs. It felt like, I told you, something was lifted off our shoulders. And the fact that we beat James, bro, it's just I can go to sleep at night. I didn't want to end off the season with a loss. Because I'll be like, oh, yeah, Arthur Blank said we're not going to release Dan Quinn. So Dan Quinn's going to come out here and lose like a bum. You know what I'm saying? Like, So he did it.
So I'm glad we won. I'm glad we came out to do what we had to do, man. Uh, shout out to Ricardo Allen, but interception was nice. He almost returned it for a pick six. Uh, so Deion Jones got the last pick of the game. That was that was that was awesome. My boy Matt Ryan, bro. Uh, dang, thirty for fifty-one, three hundred thirteen yards. Matt threw the ball fifty-one times while still getting sacked, guys. Devontae Freeman, he needed to step up. He tried to step up, but I mean, he didn't know what the heck was going on. I don't know what, what is Freeman going to be here next year or not. But he was in his hometown of Florida. You know, I know he's from Miami, Florida. But he was in his hometown in Florida. I told you, Freeman was the main one talking trash when the season started talking about, oh, we're going to the Super Bowl, but it's going to be in my hometown of Miami, all this other bull crap. The dude was the worst player on the Falcons this year. And at first, we all thought it was Devondre Campbell, but Devondre Campbell actually stepped up. Devondre stepped up this season, bro. So big respect to Devondre. Like I said, forget all that Twitter stuff, bro. Just chill out. You know, we, we behind you, bro. We just didn't like all that. You can't talk trash, and then you ain't doing nothing, bro. Like, just accept the freaking constructive criticism. Like, somebody, mama, somebody, parent, just smack on the butt and go get go get to it. That's all you got to do, bro. Just correct yourself, man. We ain't, if we fans are paying to see y'all play or watching us on TV, buying this gear and all this stuff, we expect y'all to go out there and do what y'all got to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's what we that's what we here for. But think about this, guys. Uh, we went out there and won the game. I don't know, was Trufant playing this game? I don't, I don't even think Trufant was playing. Was he playing? No, Trufant didn't even play. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's like we've been winning games without really, without Trufant. I think we won some without Hooper. Uh, the left, uh, one of the guards got hurt. And we, we still went out there and executed, man. That's what I like to see, you know. Matt Ryan was still out there balling, and that's what I like to see, bro. I know we uh, finished the season seven and nine, and just thinking about it, we started this season off one and seven, bro. One and seven. That's horrible, and the fact that we seven and nine, it means a lot because, like Rich McKay and Arthur Blank said, that's never happened in history. I don't think of any team like that, honestly, um, except probably for the Broncos with Tim Tebow and stuff like that, maybe. But as far as the franchise history, that has never happened. The worst record we ever had was three and thirteen. Um, I think that was in what was it? I think it was like ninety something or eighty something. I don't know, but it was good to see us come out and, and win this game, bro. Jameis Winston is trash, bro. Like, but I told you this game he stepped up, but he still let everybody down. I already knew what it was, man. Jameis Winston has like so much potential, just like Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler, you know what I'm saying? To me, Jameis Winston is Jay Cutler, bro. Persona personified, bro. Like, even though Jame, uh, even though Jay Cutler is, is a person, but guess what? Jay Cutler only lost against the Falcons once. I don't. I I had to literally look. Somebody in the conversation told me that we beat Jay Cutler before, and I didn't even think that we beat that man. Jay Cutler freaking owned the freaking Falcons, but the dude was trash. Same thing with Jameis Winston. He used to own us, and he still find a way to win. But you know, now we've been slowing him down a little bit. But we own the Panthers, though. I, I admit that. This year, you know, the Saints got us twice. I mean, not twice, but they got us once. Last year, they, I think they got us twice, I believe. Um, but I don't think they're going to do nothing in the playoffs. I don't, I don't think so at all. I still think the Packers and the Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl. I keep trying to tell you that it would be crazy if the New England Patriots find a way to get in and Tom Brady go on to win a seven freaking ring. That would be just insane, bro. Like, it will just be so stupid. But I don't, I don't see that happening, bro. Uh, but for a good season, man, I just appreciate y'all rock, rocking with me. I love making these videos. These videos are why a lot of people come to my channel. Um, yeah, man, I just like that we turned around. Uh, my thoughts on you know Dan Quinn coming back for another season. I told you I, I left him alone after that first thing win because the dude put his ego aside and let Jeff Oldbridge and Raheem Morris coach the defense. Um, and it was a good fit for us. You know, not a lot of coaches, you know, some coaches will quit on the on the team and some coaches will just be like, well, I'm doing this how I started. I'm going to finish like this. The dude adjusted and, you know, he got the team rallied behind him. Shout out to Julio for stepping up and telling him, hey, you know, if we like Quinn, we need to play for him. We need to stop lallygagging and go out there and play. And I really believe that the Falcons can, can get to a Super Bowl, man. And from the whole, from this whole thing, how I've seen this year playing out, next year, I think the 49ers and the Falcons are going to be back somehow once again in the playoffs. 
and I think we're gonna be able to go to the Super Bowl. I know people say that, oh yeah, every oh maybe next year, but I believe it's gonna come down to us again. And y'all seen we can beat Aaron Rodgers in the playoffs, but I told you the only time Aaron Rodgers ever went to the Super Bowl was Stu Lewis in Atlanta, and he's never been since. And Aaron Rodgers hasn't won a Super Bowl since that defense has been gone. Russell Wilson hasn't won a Super Bowl since that defense has been gone. Drew Brees hasn't won a Super Bowl since the, the dang defense has been gone. And everybody named Mama, you know what I'm saying, they always talk about how great the quarterbacks is, but they never talk about the defense. Troy, uh, you know what I'm saying, Big Ben hasn't won the Super Bowl since Troy Palomalo has been gone. You know what I'm saying, like everybody else named Mama. So it's like y'all got to stop blaming one person and look at the whole team. Uh, because, Matt, we only had a top five defense like probably once since Matt. And that was 2012. A lot of people didn't know that. I think we was F5, but that was supposed to be our year, man. Forget about Tom Brady and Super Bowl. 2012 was the year, bro. We should have freaking, we would have blew the brakes over the freaking Ravens in the Super Bowl. Uh, in my opinion, and my wholehearted truth, it shouldn't even been the Ravens. It should have been the Broncos and the Falcons in the Super Bowl once again. And we would have dusted them just like we did that season when Peyton Manning threw like four picks or five picks, three picks. And uh, like his first four like attempts. That jump was crazy, man. That that was probably one of my favorite games going to, man. That that whole environment, the dome, I miss it so much because people actually watch the game instead of walking around taking selfies, going to Mercedes cars and all that bull crap, man. It, it's just so like it's all over the place now. I like the new stadium, but you know, back then people seemed like they came for football, not just the not just for some stupid stuff, man. You know. Um, I understand taking pictures and trying to enjoy this. Oh, look at the stadium. It's nice. But dude, just like literally be there like it's a bar or something. But I guess, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, if they pay for it, they want to do it. If they, if they want to go there for a bar, they want to chill. It It's just weird, bro. You know, people go there to watch the games on TV. Like I've literally seen people go in the stadium and watch another game on the big screen on the outside um like out above like the seating area and just sit there and watch that game. I guess it's just the environment. People just want to be in the environment. I don't know, but it's just the fact that people bought a ticket just to watch the TV and yeah, watching a whole nother game. I don't get it, man. But anyway, shout out my boy, Matt, bro. Matt Ryan, shout out to the Young Way Cool, shout out to Deanna Jones. Young Way Cool, I hope we sign you again, man. Uh, I never seen a fan take out their kicker like that so quickly. And like I told you, the people in the stands are saying, cool. Obviously, it was in Tampa Bay. I'm not talking about it, the home games uh, that I went to this season. Ever since he came back. And thinking about it, ever since we got cool, we've been winning games, bro. Like, I think we only lost two games since, you know, we got cool. And that was when it gets the Saints. And I think it gets the dang Buccaneers. Really? Wow. Ain't that something? If we would have won against the Saints and Buccaneers, we would have been straight, man. Uh, but, like I said, we own the Panthers. Uh, we own all of them, bro. So. And if y'all didn't know, I told you we own every single uh, person in the, our division. We have the record on each of them. But, you know, us and the Panthers are the only one without a Super Bowl ring. The Buccaneers and the Saints got their ring. But y'all know why the Saints got that ring. I ain't trying to talk about that. Y'all already know what it is. Uh, like I said, I remember that freaking – I'll never forget how they got to that junk too, man. With that whole Brett Favre situation, and I remember that game we had played them with. I think his name was Pierre Thomas, bro. Did not get the first down. It was like fourth in inches, and the dude didn't even get over the line. And they called the first down, and they, they won that game. I'll never forget that junk. I can just keep replaying that over and over my head, and I can keep replaying that whole bounty gate the Saints had. And I believe that's why they got screwed over with that pass interference call last year because even Matt Ryan said this is just something about what goes around comes around. He calls it like the Madden guys. I'm not the Madden guys, but the football guys. That's what he called it. Um, you know what I'm saying? There was no way there was the Saints and the Patriots were going to be in the freaking Atlanta in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. It, it wasn't going to happen like that. The fans, they would have booed out the freaking building, and it wouldn't have been a good look for the city, for the Patriots, or the, or the Saints to be both down here and have them both celebrating to take it over the city after we just lost the Super Bowl against them. It's not happening like that, bro. Uh so anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. This season was was crazy, but I'm glad how we ended it off. Like I said, Dan Quinn, you know, him coming back, it's it's all good, man. I don't know about Thomas Dimitrov, bro, but it, it is what it is, man. I think we do have potential. I just think the team need to know that the preseason was over with sooner. 
they need to actually start playing and they need to stop being so soft, bro. Uh, what I liked about, I was looking at something about Deion Sanders and I remember them playing against the Saints. I think MC Hammer was there a lot. That was cool how they showed, they were, I was looking at the video talking about all the Deion Sanders highlights and they had played against the Saints. And I think somebody had caught a pick and then they flipped it back to Deion and Deion was about to run the game. All they had to do was catch the ball to take a knee and the Falcons would have won because the game was over. That pick, it was over. But Deion said they attitude towards the Saints. They kept running, you know what I'm saying, and flipping the ball back like two or three times and scored a touchdown because that's how much they didn't like the Saints. That was because they had that attitude back and they had that swagger. They had that, yo, we about to come out here. This ain't no peewee league. We about to go out there and bust these dudes. We don't like them. They don't like us. We're going we gonna to go there and bury them. And that's what I like about what we do. Like, even that last game we played, I was freaking booing my butt off. Who the heck we played the Jaguars? When we got that ball back, I was like, boo, man, because the fact that they need, I know they didn't want to get hurt, but everybody named Mama, you know what I'm saying, most of the people was leaving already. People like to stay so they can see the rest of the game. The fact that people stayed, like, people was in the stadium, and they just taking these. We looking like, bro, come on, bro. We could have walked out with these other people. You know what I'm saying? But we stayed because we want to see a game, not to see you take knees. Uh, but, yeah. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Um, so, we finished off 7 and 9. Oh, man. I don't know. Matt Ryan, not in our Pro Bowl once again, even though he deserved it last year. I mean, you can say what you want about this year, but I don't, I don't know, man. It, it just is what it is. We, sh- we should have had a better record than what we had. Um. Yeah, so shout out to my boy Matt being clutch. Shout out to Young Way Coop being clutch. Shout out to Dan Quinn for actually showing emotion on the sideline. And that's all I got to say, man. It's a case for stepping up. Jaden Graham, I hope they use him a lot more next year, bro. I think that dude is a future talent. I'm trying to tell y'all. I've been saying that ever since i seen this man on special teams. He was the only one showing emotion, in my opinion, when the, other, no, when the whole team wasn't showing emotion. Obviously, you saw Matt, you know what I'm saying, Julio, but everybody else – we ain't really doing nothing. And I like that he still has that drive to want to play and want to go up there and win. Shout out to everybody. I'm out. I'm for real this time because I know I like to say that a lot, but I just keep thinking, is there anything else I have to say? But let me know what y'all think and, you know, if y'all want me to make a video. But I'm telling y'all this now, bro. The Chiefs and the Packers are going to be in the Super Bowl. I'm telling you that now. The Ravens, it may sound good, but I'm telling y'all, bro, the Chiefs and the Packers are going to the Super Bowl. I guarantee freaking to you. And if EA makes something where we can get some training or some coins, I'm picking the freaking Packers and the Chiefs, bro. So see y'all in the next one. I mean, look at the whole State Farm commercial, bro. It's Aaron Rodgers and, and Pat Mahomes, bro. Like, Brett Favre love freaking Mahomes. And you know he's going to be at the game, bro. It's going to be the Packers and the Chiefs. I'm trying to tell y'all. So see y'all in the next one. I'm out.